hated the world. Everybody hated the world. I want to go back to the old motorbike. Carrie and Mr. Link and, and the last fellow who was just hilarious and so good. You know, it takes a lot of guts to get up here and do this shit. It really does. And, uh, people, you know, Brent says, well, you're an old, you know, for you've been doing this for It doesn't matter. I just, you know, I never know what's going to happen when I get on this stage. But it takes a lot of guts to do this, yeah. Yeah. to pull it together and to get up and, and you know, you're, you're, you're worried about, you know, if your slip is showing. Or, you know, <laughs> and you're, you know, and you have to have five bourbons before you walk on stage. <laughs> Sorry. I've been listening to country music. Yeah. WGAR, you know, 94.9. And uh, I, there's certain, they, the lyrics are absolutely fantastic. I mean, I've listened to country music before, but as a singer-songwriter, which I started kind of late in life, you start listening to the lyrics. You start listening and you're going, holy shit, these people are really writing great lyrics. And, and, and a lot of it's cute and a lot of, you know, a lot of it's cliche and you can say what you want about it, but it's really hooked together nice, you know? And a lot of the stories have different, you know, patterns, you know, it's family. I'm talking about country music. Pat patterns of family, they talk about family, they talk about the church, talk about the girlfriends talking about, you know, rodeo and drinking. <laughs> and a lot and about dogs. drinking. Yeah, and dogs. And I, I kind of picked up on all of that, and I, this song emerged. It's called Country Music. It's not, not really a country music song. It's about country music. And it's serious, and it's kind of sad. <laughs> Country music knocks me out. I love the slide guitars and fiddles and that sweet southern drawl, dripping with sincerity. He's looking forward to his next rodeo. That bottle of Jack keeps rolling round the floor of his pickup. Country music knocks me out. 
I see cornfields and haylofts and that rusty old tractor standing right where he left it when his daddy saw the writing on the wall and he goes to a place called the old honky tonk where his uncle likes to drink and tell stories but he's heard them all before they all run together and the small town is driving him crazy Sunday church bells are ringing heavy in his head after a night of hanging out with the boys and his best friend's advice just find a real good girl Rings heavy as he stares at the ceiling Cause the good girls are tired The guys who need saving She's got her own demons to wrestle She's working two jobs, taking care of her mother, is ready to pack it in for Jesus. Country music knocks me out. I love them flat picking banjos and those sweet mandolins. That can soothe a lonely heart As he tries to make sense of it all And in spite of the jobs That keep changing daily He still gets to the old fishing hole Where he caught his first trout where it's cleaning and cooking and that first stinging taste of alcohol Country music knocks me out Though the fuzz guitars are loud But if you listen real hard To the stories they are telling Hank Williams is still looking out And that empty old bottle That bottle Jack Keeps rolling round the floor of his pickup Yeah, that old bottle That bottle Keeps rolling round on the floor of Hank Williams' Cadillac. <laughs> Okay, you have two choices and I'm going to give it up to the audience because you want to hear a, 
A fast song is a song that's kind of political, or do you want to hear a slow, soulful country ballad? So Rock it up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do "Take the Devil to the Woodshed." All right, now this song is. Uh, you know, I grew up uh, in Youngstown in a Baptist church, believe it or not, a Welsh Baptist church. What the hell is a Welsh Baptist church? But that's, you know, and we had this minister who came through, and I'm telling you the truth. He came through, and he was from Ironton, Ohio. And he had, this is in Youngstown, so we didn't have too many hillbillies in Youngstown at that time. Now they're everywhere. But, no, seriously. He came up and he and he was great. He was a great preacher. He was wonderful. But every now and then he'd get in his cups and he and he'd say stuff like, "Take the devil to the woodshed." And we go, "What? What does that mean?" <laughs> Cecil Norman. What was his name? I hope I can remember the words to this. Take the devil to the woodshed, put him on his knee, stick him in the pillory for everyone to see. Get out the tar and feathers, ride him on red, let him spend a week in the folk. It's a wonder they can stand up their backbones as a week. Their treachery is famous as the devil pulls a string. No exaggeration, it'll ruin everything, and that is why, that is why they'll fade away. Control, and that is why, that is why you turn away. You turn away. A mad dog was running wild in the streets one day. The neighbors were worried because the children could not play. They called him. With a truck and a gun, he shot that dog down. That dog was done, and that is why. That is why he went away. He went away. Maybe I should have said he tased him down instead of shooting him. <laughs> Take the devil to the woodshed, put him on his knee, stick him in the pillory for everyone to see.